Hi, everybody. Um, my name is Ariel, and I'm a product manager here at Looker. I focus on our embedded analytics offering, also called Powered by Looker. So I'm excited to share with you all today uh, a little bit more about our product and what's new in our latest release, Looker 6. Uh, with me is also Bryce. I'll let him introduce himself. Hi, everybody. My name is Bryce Heltzel, and I am a technical analyst here at Looker. So excited to walk you through some of the new features here with six and just talk about kind of our offering a high level for uh, embedded analytics. Cool. So I thought what we would do today is I'll start off with just a brief overview of Looker and embedded analytics and, and how those two things really come together. And then I'll share the good stuff, which is what's new in our Looker 6 release. And then I'll pass it back to Bryce to actually walk everybody through a live demo. Well, so to start out, for, for anyone who may, who may be new to Looker, just a quick background on, on what we are and what we do. Looker is a business intelligence platform uh, that helps everybody in an organization explore, analyze, and share their data. So we're what you'd consider a full-fledged business intelligence tool. Now, on the other side of the world, you've got business applications. Um, business applications are traditionally things like CRM systems, HR tools, uh, but today they range, um, they, they range and can be anything from an e-commerce portal uh, to a marketing automation system. And embedded analytics is when you take all of the goodness of uh, a full-powered BI product like Looker and you make that accessible for your customers directly inside your own application. And the reason that's powerful is because within that business application, maybe it's that e-commerce portal, that's where your customers are spending their time. That's where they're doing their job. It's very operational in nature. And so being able to give them data at their fingertips, the moment and the place that they need it, is a really big value add um, to our customers and their products. So there's a lot of reasons that folks choose to go with um, a business intelligence tool like Looker for their embedded offering rather than building it in-house. Uh, I'll, I'll let Bryce kind of share as he goes through the demo a little bit more of this, but Looker in particular has a really strong data model that, that makes embedding analytics very scalable. Um, whereas with, instead of having to rebuild charts or analytics or dashboards for every single client, you can really quickly scale up to thousands or hundreds of thousands of, of clients using just um, one data model and one dashboard in Looker, or as many as you may need. So I'm excited today to, to share with you some of the new stuff that is coming in Looker 6. So this is the newest release that we just announced in October. Um, one of the big things is all around branding and, and being able to, to make Looker match your product. So while it's really powerful to put business intelligence inside your own application, uh, that doesn't necessarily mean that you want your customers to know that it's a third-party product. Um, and so it's really important that you're able to style and customize and match your style guides that makes your product your product. And so with custom themes in Looker 6, you'll be able to change all of those attributes that make your brand your brand, which is things like font family, backgrounds, you can even make it wingdings if you really want to. But we really want to give you that flexibility so that Looker integrates very seamlessly and your customers wouldn't know that they're actually navigating or seeing something that is, is different than your core products. The other big thing we're excited to announce in Looker 6 is an update to our API. So with Looker, traditionally our, our customers choose to embed Looker either through an iframe, which is really easy to set up, um, or, or in combination, they'll use our API to build out some more custom functionality. In Looker 6, we've continued along that journey and are, are adding even more power to the APIs that we offer. Um, so we've, we've added new things like the ability to manage and create dashboards on the fly. So you can do a lot of really cool custom things. And many other um, types of functionalities and, and just uh, cleanup and, and lots of stuff that you can do with the new API offering. So again, I'll have Bryce kind of walk you through a few examples of what using an AP, our APIs would look like. And with that, I'll actually pass it over to Bryce to walk you through the offering and what's, what's new in the latest release.
Excellent. Bear with us here. <clears throat> Fantastic. Thanks, Ariel. So <clears throat> essentially what we want to walk you through here is a sample of how some of our customers may actually be using Looker for those embedded analytics. And then walking through a couple of the features that Ariel mentioned around utilizing that new API, as well as themes within your existing uh, Looker installation or if you're interested. So jumping into our sample site here, Fashionly, we're gonna take a look at a sample e-commerce store. So you can think of just any kind of online clothing store. And we're actually gonna log in here as if we were a customer of that of that store, or, or sorry, a, yeah, a brand of that store, right? Where we can actually see how our brand is performing within this online store. So as we log in as this Allegra K brand for this uh, online store, you can see here as we land on this first page, Looker is not just about the visualizations per se, but this ability as a data platform to pull in data wherever we may need it in order to display it for our customers. So as you see these different data points, actually come to the bottom and show the sources of this. You can see here everything in the purple is actually going to be pulled back through Looker's API. So we can leverage the data models that you've created within Looker to automate this process where users can still authenticate and get data that's relevant to them, but really in a reusable way that is going to be appropriate for the customer that's actually logged in. But of course, we do want that ability for you to utilize those visualizations and the dashboards that you have created based off of your data models within Looker. So if we jump over to this dashboard here on the left side with our business pulse, again, as Allegra K, as I'm logged in here to see my brand and how it's performing within the store, I can see high-level KPIs, how we're tracking towards goals, and basic visualizations that you as a business have exposed out for the Allegra K customer. You still get some of the great functionality that you expect to see out of Looker. So the ability to enable your customers to filter on the fly, drill into row level detail, or even download, save, and schedule content to themselves outside of just your portal. So this is all really granularly customizable, right? So you can decide exactly what you want folks to be able to do, whether it be able to be filtering, downloading, scheduling, and so forth, even drilling. You really control what you're going to enable your customers to do with the platform. If we dive into it a little bit more, you know, we start to get into this idea of maybe you know, this is could be considered you know, basic analytics, right, to give these dashboards and things out. But as you kind of get into this idea of uh, premium analytics, where maybe this is even a new offering for some of your customers that really want to dig into the data that you are currently tracking, where you may actually give them different uh, ways to analyze this. So <clears throat> within the supplier overview here, you can actually uh, even integrate with our API here to make your own custom filters. So Ariel mentioned uh, of stress uh, of, of the Looker product in Looker 6 is to kind of match your brand. So again, if I show these sources here, you can see how we might actually have your own uh, filters up here at the top. This would be native to your web application or web portal. And then as we kind of click around and maybe remove pants uh, from, the, from the filters here, you can see that the dashboard will actually update. And we're passing through some of that theming here as well, where you're able to change through the colors, things like that within this dashboard. So this is kind of what we'll call a hybrid approach in between the API and our iframe embed. You also have the ability with the API to pull back data directly. So if you wanted to create your own custom visual outside of Looker, so maybe like this bubble chart, you could actually pull back that data via the API and display it however you see fit. Again, whether it's just a table or data points on the page or a visual back here. The last kind of hybrid approach that we could take a brief look at would be something like this report selector. So this one's especially uh, exciting for me as someone that, you know, gives you a really a way with a hybrid approach to allow non-technical resources to really enable 
reports to be shown within your web portal. So we can utilize the API to actually pull back a space or a folder of reports and then allow our end users to actually click on one, submit it out, and pull back that next report. So just by saving a report within Looker, maybe I'm a, a customer success manager or a brand manager, and I just want to save a new report for my customer into a space, we can pull that back via the API and then display that visual or that report right here within Looker without involving any engineering resources. The kind of final step that some of our uh, customers are taking today in an embedded analytics solution would be a full-blown custom reporting solution. So that's where we get really down to this ad hoc analysis where you can actually have the power to embed the Explore directly within your web portal as well. So if you want to choose fields or, or measures, KPIs that you want your customers to so that's kind of a high level of our, our sample embed site of just, just kind of highlighting some of the different things that you can do with embedded analytics in Looker and highlighting some of the different ways that customers today are using this. So really a combination of, of iframes, API, or even a hybrid approach to this. Now, briefly, I just wanted to kind of walk into the, the Looker application itself just to lastly give you kind of a, a quick overview of what themes might look like within Looker today. So this is a, a new feature in Looker 6 that Ariel mentioned. So I can come in and actually see some of these uh, basic themes that we've been set up in our admin panel. And if I take a look at the avatar one here that we created today for this purpose of this webinar, uh, you can see you know, we are able to select a font family or upload our own custom font file. We can start to use hex codes to change the colors of the page to match our branding and style and choose things like showing the dashboard tile or adding a filter bar uh, or allowing customers to filter based on you know, what's displayed there in the iframe. So we you know, basically wanted to change some things around, throw a new font on here. And then you can kind of see what the, the basic idea might look like here, where we've kind of changed the font around, but you still get the ability to come in, actually drill through things. And so if, I, you know, if we look at uh, an actual page here, we can actually drill through, and you'll see the fonts actually come through as we, as we move around. So that is uh, you know, one of the exciting new features within Looker 6 that you can actually pass through those themes and custom branding directly within Looker. And again, utilizing that API to actually pull back data directly within your embedded application. So thanks for joining. And that's what uh, essentially we wanted to walk through today to show you Looker 6. Cool. Thanks, Bryce. So let's see if we can go back to the slides. All right. Uh, so I think we have a, a couple of questions here. So I'll, I'll, I'll take a few of those. Uh, the first one is, is this created under a different database? Uh, is it intended to be operated separate from our core business data? Uh, Looker does connect directly to your own SQL database. Um, that way the data is live. It's You're still in control of your data. Um, Looker has a modeling layer that basically lets you connect to your database, but makes sense of that and in a much more extensible way that then can create those dashboards and things that you can uh, embed for your customers. Is there unique permissioning per customer? Uh, yes, there is. So Looker can handle permissioning in a number of different ways. It, we can really match whatever type of setup you need based on the data that you're collecting uh, on your own. So we can do row level permissioning, column level, content level. Uh, whether you have a single tenant or a multi-tenant application, Looker can really flex to work with any of those. Okay, is there a public demo site available to explore Looker yourself? Uh, we do have a couple of examples. I would definitely um, suggest reaching out to somebody from our team and we can, we can share some, I think I have some emails here at the end and they can either give you access to one of those example sites or walk you through a more personalized demo. Right. Is this application compatible with SQL? Uh, yes, we do connect directly to any SQL database. But we wouldn't want, so I think this question goes back to the connecting directly to your database. 
Uh, we wouldn't want it to co-mingle with your main data source. Uh, it, we, we definitely, so the way that we typically recommend our customers is that they don't hook in directly to their operational database. Um, while you can, and it would work, we recommend creating either a follower or a replica, or even better yet, a data warehouse for that. So there's one about uh, spanning across multiple databases. So if you do have customers that have data in separate uh, databases, uh, there is a way to pass connections across at a customer level as well. So we do support that. All right, I'll let Bryce answer a couple more. Sure, there's, uh, are there comprehensive instructions on how to do this in the Looker docs or discourse? So there definitely is great documentation available for all of these features. We do pride ourselves on that documentation. And so within uh, just look, taking a look at Powered by Looker is really uh, what this is kind of advertised as. So if you look for Powered by Looker and Embedded Analytics, uh, you'll be able to find some of that great documentation readily available within our documentation. I heard you added in six uh, a greater ability to ex embed explanatory info in the UI. This is of interest because we want to help our customers use the ad hoc reporting, but it's not easy for them to know what data elements to choose, for example. That's a great use case for Looker Embedded. We do have a great offering in terms of self-service, like we looked at on that last page of Fashionly, where you can actually embed that explore. Uh, what we usually recommend and see customers doing is really curating that explore section for their customers. So that's the power of the Looker modeling layer, where you can really hide fields that are unimportant, relabel things that are going to be you know, really relevant for those customers and you want to make sure that they're titled appropriately or even adding tool tips there, uh, but really kind of slimming it down to make sure it's going to be appropriate for those customers so that they get a great experience creating self-service reporting. Can Looker be whitelisted? So certain visuals or dashboards can be embedded in other SaaS products. Yes, we do have a white label offering uh, as well. So if you're interested, please do reach out for a demo and we'll have somebody happily able to walk you through that. All right, cool. Thanks for all the questions, everybody. And if you do have more questions, feel free to send them through and we, we can do some follow-up as well. All right, so we have a couple of resources here. So there, there's more on our embedded analytics offering online, uh, what's new in Looker 6. And then if you are interested in seeing a demo or just learning more, feel free to email us at discover at looker.com or go to our, our website uh, slash demo. And we'll, we'll definitely be sure to get you more uh, customized or specialized answers. All right. Well, with that, thank you, everybody, for joining us today. Um, we're, we're excited to, to share what's new and, and look forward to hearing feedback from all of you in the future. Thank you.